I hired a car with green rental motion, a uh, green motion rental in Leicester. I returned the car after eight days. No problems with the car, no no accident, and they found some scratches on the return. Um, they charged me six hundred and fifty five pounds for these scratches on the on the basis of telling me that they would get the work done and I'd be invoiced, I'd be refunded the difference. I found that this is no longer the case. They're not going to get the car fixed and they're just taking my £655 as pure profit. Yeah, so the long and short of it is that I've had like many hire cars from Green Motion with no problem, to be honest. Uh, and I had a car over Christmas, returned the car, it was a brand new car. When they gave it to me, they said it was brand new. Fine, no problems. Checked it all over, great. Had the car with no incidents, returned the car. And when I returned, it was super busy. The office was super busy, and they just told me to sit down and wait, and then sort out the return of the car. So as I was sat there, maybe 10, 15 minutes, and then a guy comes in from the forecourt, and he goes, oh, Mr. Jones, I need you to come and have a look at the car. There's some damage. I was like, oh, right, okay. So this is the first time ever that I've been dealing with them where they've inspected the car on return in my absence because they told me just to sit and wait in the office. So I went out and there are, and there are, there are scratches on the side of the car. Minor scratches, very minor, two very minor scratches. I'd say that possibly even could be polished out. I was aghast. Like, it, I knew that I hadn't caused the damage. But I also understand that incidental damage while I'm in possession of the car is my responsibility. I can kind of, I accept that. I said to him, well, I definitely haven't done it. I'd be honest with you if I'd have bumped something or something had happened. But if that's the case, then I need to sort it out. Obviously, I'm disappointed. It's the 10th car I've had from them in a the year. OK, I went back into the office. I'll sort it out. So I went back into the office. There's two scratches that they're claiming for. And the guy goes, right, I'm just looking at our matrix, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, it'll be £655. £655 is a ridiculous amount of money for the damage that they are claiming that I have uh, returned on the car. I was very shocked and started discussing this with somebody who professed to be the manager. And so he told me that, um, they do it by a damage matrix. Before the, because these scratches are longer than four centimeters long, then they fall within this damage matrix, which means they charge me £655. But the work would be carried out, and then I would be refunded my £650 minus the costs incurred for the repair. So I thought, so first of all, I'm still upset about this. They're asking me to pay for something that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> you know, oh, they're both, like, I'm, I'm paying way over the odds. Anyway... So at this time, he gives, me, he gives me their damage procedure, which I have here. And um, I actually, I'm, I'm looking this guy in the eye and I'm saying, talk to me man to man. You know that's not going to cost that much. He's like, yeah, I agree with you. This is what's going to happen. It'll get fixed. I said, okay. So I wrote on this damage procedure uh, note that he gave me, I take £655 with the promise of full return minus costs detailed on invoice for paint touch-up job. And I said, will you sign that for me, please? I want a record of what you've just told me. And he goes, I won't sign that. And I was like, but that's what you've said. And he goes, no, I'm not going to sign it. He goes, I'll write my name next to it, and I'll give you my business card, but I won't sign it. I said, OK, <laughs> put your name next to it. And so I did that, and I have that here. I have that. And I know that that may not be legally binding. I'm not a lawyer. But this is him saying to me, this is him confirming what he's told me. So anyway, 10 days passed, I still hadn't had an invoice for this work. I contacted Green Motion, their line, to ask for the invoice and when I'd be getting my refund. And they told me that I would never get a refund and the work wasn't going to be carried out. It's not even going to be fixed. They said the damage is incidental. It doesn't affect the running of the car. They lease the cars. And so they will keep on hiring out that car to whenever their lease finishes, because this damage isn't so severe that it affects anything to do with the car. So now I'm thinking I've been charged £655 for work that might never get carried out. Um, the next person who has that car might write it off. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, Or they take a more comprehensive insurance cover and they completely smash in the side of that car. I've had a quote and it comes in at less than a sixth 
of the price that they're char they've charged me, and they've taken it off my credit card. I don't understand how they can charge me, A, this amount of money, but also B, the fact that they're never actually going to do the work and they've admitted that. Uh, on their terms and conditions, they state that the reasonable cost of repairing any extra damage which is not noted on the vehicle check form at the start of the agreement. Reasonable cost of repairing. I think it's completely unreasonable <laughs> if they're not going to do the repair. It's completely unreasonable because I can get it done for a sixth of the price. And I've got this so-called ma branch manager lying to my face, lying to my face about what was going to happen. So now, I mean, I've complained to Screen Motion and they've just told me, no, that's just what it is. You, you're going to have to lump it. I now, given the way that they, I've offered to hire the car again and get it fixed at my own expense. And I've said to them, like, surely that's a reasonable solution you will make money out of me hiring the car again i'll get it fixed i'm going to return it in a perfect condition once again and you've made more money out of me but the only reason that they'd refuse that is if this 655 pounds is a profit center they're making pure profit out of this 655 pounds i think it's fundamentally wrong i also know i mean this is the only time it's happened to me and it's the only time that i've ever had a car inspected in my absence on my return so given the fact that i know that their branch manager has lied to my face i'm now assuming the fact that they're all liars and i think that they potentially have even done the damage themselves because i have evidence that they lie and they didn't that like it's suspect there's this hundred percent profit center the next person might have a, a scratch in the same place, and they get charged six hundred and fifty pounds. That must be the most expensive panel in the automotive industry. I could get a Bugatti resprayed for less. So I'm furious about their conduct. I just think it's. I think I feel like I've been conned. Plain and simple, I feel like I've been conned. I've been done over by confidence tricksters. <laughs> They'll never get me back as a customer, full stop. The, the, the rectifying case that I need is I'm happy to fix the car. I'll hire the car and I'll fix it at my own cost. And I believe that's the fairest thing that I can do. I think that's a perfectly reasonable and fair. I've offered this on numerous times as well. Mm -hmm.